making, today we are making pizza dough. anything bread and so he uh, uh, we uh, Solomon and I have been wanting to learn how to bake our own bread and our own dough and we're even gonna try to make our own sourdough but that's gonna take a little bit more time um, but today uh, we're doing a video with you guys on our first time making pizza dough and so um, this recipe you can see the recipe here on the board. We actually got from uh, an Irish guy named uh, Patrick Ryan, I believe. Uh, you can YouTube him. Uh, he's a, he has a, a lot of really informative videos on baking bread. But uh, so anyway, um, first things first, we gotta add the flour, right? Mm -hmm. So let's add the flour. You need 300. 300 pizzas, I don't think so. So first, it says the recipe we got is from a guy from Ireland. Everything's in grams, so I'm sorry about that. And milliliters. And here's Monty Concha. Wondering yes. what's going on. She's about to become a real. All right, so first we gotta add the flour. Here's your flour, your two things of flour. Go ahead and dump them in the bowl. Okay, so that is about uh, 500 grams of flour. And next we're gonna add our teaspoon of salt. We have our salt here. So we're gonna add the teaspoon of salt. And then we're gonna go ahead, and our hands are clean, except I did touch the cat. So Solomon's gonna mix. And I just touch markers. Oh great! So now we have dirty hands. Too bad. So you mix in your salt. Get it all mixed in, real good. Into your flour. And next we're gonna add the salt. We added the salt, and now we're gonna add uh, fresh yeast. Usually in the past, and any time I bake bread or anything like that, I've always. Here we're having a thunderstorm right now, um, so hopefully the power doesn't go out because it's already gone out like four times this week and it's been sunny. <laughs> but so in the past, I've always used those little packets of dry yeast, but I wanted to use the fresh yeast um, because why not? It seemed like a fun thing to do. So you want about a tablespoon. This is 10 grams, so you're looking at about a tablespoon of fresh yeast and what you're gonna do get your tablespoon and um, I know most of the time you see that you need to dilute the yeast break it up in uh, water with sugar but I'm following the recipe by Patrick Ryan and he says that's a bunch of rubbish and he actually says rubbish which is really cool so I am going to say it's rubbish too, and we're going to try it this way. And so he just mixes it in, crumples it all up, gets it all crummy. That's enough, but let's just crumb that up. Make sure you break it up and mix it in. Mix it all together. So you're mixing in your dry yeast, or fresh yeast, I'm sorry, not dry, fresh. Got that all mixed up. It's a little sticky right now. But that's, we're gonna get it out on the table. The table is cleaned. I did make sure I cleaned the table. Okay, so the other thing Patrick says is, this looks like a mess, but we're gonna do it. 
The other thing Patrick says is to knead the dough for only 10 seconds. So we're going to knead it for 10 seconds. One, count to 10. Count a little louder, but I can't hear you over the rain. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. I think it's slime I'm pretty sure we're doing something wrong because this is way too sticky. But we're gonna go ahead and throw it back in the bowl. Bring the bowl here. Right. It looks like slime. We're gonna throw it back in the bowl for now, and then we're gonna let it rest for 10 minutes, and then we're gonna knead it again for another. Did our first kneading, and. Uh, now we're gonna knead it again for 10 seconds. Wait, I need something I need to tell you. This is my baby bread. So really, it's how, the same thing how to make this bun, but you open it and then you put salt and olive oil and then you close it, then you circle it around, squeeze it and everything. Then you grab pancake syrup you spray it on there, you wrap it around, and then you put, then you roll it around flour, and then you just wait, and then you cook it, and then da da da. And you bake. <laughs> okay. Well, so, I take a bite what we're going to do is let it sit for another 10 minutes, and then we're going to come back and knead it another 10 seconds after that and let it rest. This is going to be our last kneading. Yeah, so, we're going to get it back out. I 10 more seconds. It counts to 10 by. I think that's 10. Okay, so. My dough is still pretty sticky. Our dough is still pretty sticky, isn't it? So. I don't quite know what that means. Most likely I did something wrong, but what we're gonna do is now we're gonna put a little bit of olive oil in the bowl. Mix it around. And we're gonna let the bread prove, what they call proving, uh, for about an hour, and then we're gonna come back to it. It hasn't quite been an hour, but I'm pretty sure our, our dough has doubled in size. So, I'm just going to put a little olive oil in my hands there. Due to our small oven size that we have here in Mexico, we are going to use this. This is going to be our pizza tray. And we have our pizza toppings here. So I'm just going to put a little bit of olive oil there on the base. 
actually not going to need all of this. I'm just going to section it out here. Probably half it, really. Put that back in there for now. I'm just going to remind everybody this is our first time making pizza? our own pizza dough, right? Not pizza dough, pizza. So we're gonna work it out. You did this, but you did that side. Okay, you did that side, I'll do this side. And yeah, while daddy's finishing this, why don't you bring the sauce over? The cheese. <laughs> Toppings on, got the cheese, the sauce, the pepperonis, and we're gonna go ahead and throw it in the oven and uh, watch it. And uh, yep, just like that. And <clears throat> just kind of keep an eye on it. We got the oven nice and hot, and so it shouldn't take too long to, uh, to cook, but we'll get it uh, in there and uh, we'll show you once we've got it fun. This was our first time making a pizza. And like I said, the, guy, the, the recipe that we followed for the dough was, uh, on, I found it on YouTube with uh, I Love Cooking Ireland. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below for the video that we used. And the guy who, the, who did the dough, his name is Patrick Ryan of uh, Firehouse uh, Bread, or I'll put the link down for his, his, for his stuff. Patrick, I think he lives under the sea of Spanish. I don't think so. He lives in Ireland. But, um, he lives on the like, island newspaper? No. Mm, he just said Ireland. Ireland, the country. Sounds like Okay, so anyway, I'll put a link for his stuff in the description also so you can check that out if you want to. Um, but we had a blast making it, and I don't think we're going to be on the food channel anytime soon. But, um, uh, Solomon loves to bake, he loves bread, and so we'll probably do some more videos where we're making more things and baking more things. Um, but if you guys like the video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And please yep, please subscribe if you haven't already. Next time, don't put your finger on the hot pan. Yeah, don't put your finger on a hot pan. I just burned my finger. Well, but we. we turned to a nugget. Yep. But uh, we hope you guys, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you in the next video. Give us a hundred thousand thumbs up. Bye. Bye.